Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today, and today we're going to be starting a new series called After Effects Grab and Go, which is going to be a short series of quick tips in three minutes or less. So today we're going to be going over a little tip I have here about a wiggle expression. So basically what this is, something that allows you to um, automatically work a certain aspect of your clip, you know, whether it's the position or some sort of effect, without you having to go and manually keyframe everything. So the first expression we're working with is wiggle. This is really easy. It's going to take any uh, aspect you want and move it around for you on its own without you having to do the keyframes, like I said. So to get to this, you're going to go ahead and hit position by hitting P on your keyboard, hold alt and left click at the stopwatch. This is going to be the expression controls. And here you're going to type wiggle open parenthesis and then how many times a second you want it to change we're going to go with one have it nice and smooth you're going to hit comma and then how much you want it to change so for me i'm going to hit 50 just for the sake of this tutorial and that's going to change the position anywhere between 0 and 50 once a second you hit the end parenthesis just to finish the expression and then now if we ran preview it you'll see how it's automatically moving it around without me having to set any keyframes for it All right, and then the, our next little part here is called the time expression. This, uh, like I said, gradually changes the amount of effect over time, but it's not doing it in random amounts. It's doing it consistently over, it's, it's doing it consistently over the length of the clip, but it's doing it at a consistent rate and it's always gradually increasing. So for this, I'm going to be doing it on the evolution of the turbulent displace so that way you don't have to keyframe it from zero to you know two whole rotations over a certain amount of time you can just do how fast you want it to change so once again you're going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and here you're going to type in time asterisk which is a multiplication and then you're going to type in a certain value so for this i normally type in 100 that gives it a pretty you know not fast but not slow change as well so now if we go ahead and ram preview this, you see it's constantly moving around without me having to do any keyframes. So anyway, guys, uh, I think we're running a little low on time here. So if you enjoyed this series, if you want to see more really quick tips for After Effects, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoy it. And I've been Soren, and I'm out. See ya.